Hey there, welcome to the UTSA Makerspace. Right now we are in our front lobby area. So you come by the front desk, ask any question that you may need. We'll always have someone here, hopefully, and they can answer whatever question. We can guide you around, offer a tour if you want one as well. We have kind of all the crazy things that we've worked on throughout the, the semesters. We have 3D prints, resin prints, uh, weird cement things, and all the different projects that we've worked on throughout the years, a little trebuchet, figurines, and things like that. But let's come on around and take a look at the great space that we have all to offer here. So the Makerspace is a 17,000 square foot, amazing facility, resource rich. It's a little bit empty or today, but it's usually completely filled with engineering students. Uh, but you don't have to be an engineering student to be here. You could be from anywhere across the campus as long as you're affiliated. Come on in, it sh we'll show you around. We have a free 3D print area. So if you want to experiment with 3D printing, you're more than welcome to come here, experiment, do whatever you want. We have a computer over there with all the slicing software, uh, free filament, we replace it all the time. And further back here, we have a little ECE room or electrical computer engineering fabrication room. And then we have conference rooms off to the sides of the areas, as well as a whole bunch of different lockers for senior design, prints, and projects. And of course we have our awesome ARC trailer from the Aeronautics and Rocket Club. It's a, it took a five foot trailer from Northern Tool, chopped it in half, welded a whole bunch of different plates on it uh, for the Spaceport Cup of America competition. And they have their 32 foot launch rail here. Of course it's in little pieces, but it's an awesome little thing that we can do here. Over here is the electronic fabrication room. It's a little messy just because we had tech symposium, but we have the basic, all the, everything you need, all of our equipment, soldering irons, oscilloscopes, virtual benches, and all the other awesome fume hoods, of course. We provide solder and a custom PCB board maker. So some students, if they want to custom make their own PCB board, they can work with some of the professors and custom make it right here at the maker space. You don't have to offset it to anywhere else. And like I said before, we have lockers all around the area for senior design projects or clubs. They can store their things here at the makerspace while they work on it and everything. And then of course we have all our columns that are painted. Oh, students like to express themselves and put different designs on all the different columns and everything. And now let's come on to the back where the, the fun stuff really is, where all the, the different labs that we have to offer. We have our student work office where there's usually someone always in there. You can always come find one of us and we'll get you where we need you to go. We have our tool bin where we keep most of our power tools and everything. We can check them out. You just bring your student ID and we'll be happy to let you have it. Uh, we have a bunch of different other manual tools out there. We'll take a look at our 3D printing area or plastic 3D print and you know, fitting. It's our sign is actually 3D printed and in multicolor for our 3D print lab. All right, so here is our 3D print lab, our plastic 3D print lab. It's divided into two different sections, both our filament-based printers over here, and then our resin-based printers over here. We have uh, most of the form labs resin library as well as their machines. We have all these form labs, 3s, 3B, and then 3L, so we can print biomedical compatible materials as well as all the cool engineering grade materials. You can get some really, really nice intricate things like this or little miniatures that people like to 3D print. Now, here at Makerspace, we always have the top of the line things. We have our Bamboo Labs X1 Carbons. Uh, we can print up to four different colors all on one print. And we can send you the time lapse with your order and everything. We have a whole wide range of different materials, not just PLA, which is a polyactic acid that most things are made of. We also have TPU and ABS and everything. So TPU is a little rubbery based material that's fun to flex and throw. People chunked it across the hallway, perfectly fine. Now. A lot of people think that the makerspace is just for engineers, but it's not. We like to have fun too. You can also 3D print cool, cool things like little helmets, Star Wars helmets. We have a clone. Uh, we've had a Mandalorian. We've had a second sister. Uh, of course, our little um, scout troopers and all that. Now we have our raised 3Ds over here. Huge build plate, 12 by 12 by 22.8 inches. So all the massive things we print on these guys. And then we have our specialty printers over here on the side. This is our Mark Forge Mark II 3D printer. It's called to fame is it's continuous fibers. So not only can it just regularly 3D print, 
but it can also 3D print with continuous fibers like Kevlar, carbon fiber, and fiberglass. So this is actually Kevlar, and we printed two of them. And to break that, we had to stick it in a vise and hit it with a sledgehammer quite a few times, so we finally broke one side. Then we had to sit, twist, and pull, twist, and pull, and we were finally able to break the other side. Really high industrial grade things. And then with our Intamsis Fun Mat, we can print Peak and Ulten 9085. So we have a little boat uh, display case here. So that little melted one, we took a blowtorch to it for about five seconds, completely melted. That was PLA. And then our crispy looking one was high temp resin from Forum Labs. And we took a blowtorch to that for about 30 seconds and it kind of burned over, charred up a little bit. And then the one that's completely fine, other than the occasional carbon buildup on it, is our Ulten 9085 aerospace grade material, self-extinguishing. We took a blowtorch to it for about 10 minutes and just got bored that nothing was happening. So we were just like, okay, we'll, we'll put it down and save it for later. So pretty cool capabilities and things that we can do here. Uh, students just submit their prints and then we slice it, send them the price of the material, they approve it, and then we mass produce it for tech symposium. We were pumping out uh, here till 4 a.m. I think it was in total about 50 prints in one day. So that was absolutely absurd, just running them all, all at once. But really cool stuff, super great resource rich thing here at Makerspace. Uh, it's a great resource, come on, use it. So this is one of my favorite labs. This is our metal 3D print lab. So yes, we can take metal powder and melt it into little pieces and get some really cool metal prints. We'll come on inside over here. We are fortunate enough to have the Renishaw AM400 laser powder bed fusion machine, which is this guy right here. So it prints both stainless steel 316L and titanium. Currently it's off and it's a whole lot quieter. Luckily, it gets really loud sometimes. So we have some metal prints over here on the table that we could actually print. So some really awesome geometries like this gyroid and cubic thing, as well as this little, you know, uh, engine block. Here's our wiper blade and everything. So it start out, starts out as powder inside the chamber and then it doses it onto the build plate. The wiper blade pushes it over the top of the build plate and then the laser up top shoots down and melts it layer by layer. We can get some really awesome projects. We even metal printed a rocket engine, a fully functional rocket engine. We had an aerospace master student, Josiah Toby, last semester metal print it as well as the coolant sleeve. He pressurized it with coolant and all the other gases and we were able to shoot flames you know, pretty far. It was a five pound thrust rocket engine, but some of the very few capabilities we can achieve here with our metal printer. So here we are inside of it, and we can walk on over to the machine shop. That's the part where I usually am most of the time. So here we are in our machine shop, quite expansive, quite amazing, quite capability rich here. It's an amazing layout just sitting in here looking at it is great. But we have six lathes, six mills, and then we have two CNC's in the back. We have a mini mill too, and uh, the other Haas, I keep forgetting that the lathe, but it's a one-off machine. Then we have a welding area in the back, for both MIG and TIG, and then we have an anodizing lab, as well as a CNC laser cutter uh, and all that. We'll look at some of the tools. This is kind of just us showing off what you can do here at the Makerspace. All these different colors are either you know blue, orange, red, black, things like that. That's anodized. So we take our aluminum part, dip it in battery acid, run an electrical current through it, and it builds an oxide layer. And then we dip it in dye. It. So not only do you have a really protective part in that oxide layer, but it's also very fashionable. Pretty cool stuff. And then of course we do all the sorts of cool materials like brass. Really, really nice looking stuff. And we you know, make little micrometer holders, things like that. Now, the thing that sets us apart than all the other universities is you don't have to be an engineering major. You don't have to be taking a very specific class. You don't have to be taking a very specific project. Anyone throughout the college is welcome to come on in here and use all the facilities and resource rich stuff that we have here. We take normal people who've never had any machining experience in their life, come on in. We have workshops every week. We try to put them on. And uh, our famous one is this little cyber truck workshop. So we take students who have never worked on the mill before, show them how to work the mill, and then we walk them through all the different steps to machine a little cyber truck with angle blocks and different vices and angles and things like that. So you get good experience as well as taking a really cool, you know, aluminum cyber truck home. We also have a Turner's Cube workshop, a little thing like that. It looks wildly complex, but it's actually super simple, just a whole bunch of little counter bores. And we offer a dice workshop, so not only do you get practice machining, 
that's also a really practical part. And then we have a little pen that we could also do for a workshop. Now, there are quite a cool things going on in here. Uh, we have an ME4803 class that's taught and we work, walk students through machining uh, a hammer on both the lathe and the mill. So quite a lot of students, a few hundred actually, or a thousand I think, have come through here making their own little hammer for mechanical engineers. It builds a little pride, you know, that you made this little hammer all yourself. We're trying to send it to space, hopefully build a little bit more pride behind it. Uh, cool little capabilities. We're hopefully gonna get more laser cutters. Uh, they're welding a whole bunch of things. We have the inertial mass structure for the laser spectroscopy chemical propulsion laboratory. We used TIG and welded this giant mass structure that's gonna hold back a shock tube detonation. So that's cool, always looking forward to that. They're actually back there welding right now. And that's all we have here at the Makerspace. Hope you can come out and join. Uh, it's not just for engineering students, for absolutely anyone here at UTSA, students, faculty, or staff. Super great environment. Come on down and see what we can do for you. I'm Jacob, and you're watching Makerspace Mondays.